Now we are going to solve Protostar Stack 4. Um, stack 4 takes a look at overwriting saved e IP and standard buffer overflows. There are three hints. A uh, variety of introduce, uh, introductory papers into buffer overflows might help. TPT lets you do run and the input. EIP is not directly after the end of the buffer compiling pedium can also increase the size. So they provide us the source code too. Um, it's very little. We just have two functions, the main and the win function. The main function um, allocates a buffer with 64 bytes and gets the buffer from user input and the win function which has print out code if it was successfully changed. So the first thought here is that we overflow the buffer and then go to win function, but we don't have any um, function call after gets. So um, to get to the win function is a bit harder than the first thought might um, say. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first we are going to take a look at the um, disassembly. So we can see um, we push the EBP, we move EBP to SEP uh, to EBP, we um, and it, lucky kill and it with stack pointer and so on. And at the last step we have a return. So we don't see the return here, but every function has to return. Or the main function has to return, otherwise the program will never end. So we're going to break here first. And now let's say let's think about it first. Uh, we can run it now. Um, cannot execute. Okay, that's a problem from my side. I have to did something real quick. Such a export. So let's do it again. Break here. run the program, so now it's running. So um, the problem here was that I overwrote um, Shell and he tried to execute something. So um, we input ASDF and hit the breakpoint. So let's first um, continue and we are executing with some code. So this is um, the return we're seeing, and we have to know several several uh, things to solve this problem first. Um, we need to to get the address of um, the win function. How do we do it? We can run it. We can print out win. And there we have the address of our win function. What we do here is we will take exploit4.pri. So we make an exploit script again. Um, address win function. Our address win is enough, I think. Um, okay. Then let's create a padding first. So padding is. Um, let's make it 64 bytes big and print it. Let's save it or oh, let's quit it now. And we are going to Python exploit4py and txt.4. 
txt4 is our um, our file, and we can direct it into the script. So let's run it. Oh no! Uh, let's run it with this script. Yes, we want to restart. So we hit a breakpoint. Uh, let's delete our breakpoint first. Delete the breakpoints, yes, and we will break with this function. So then we are going, we are going to run it again, yes, and now we hit the breakpoint. So, so at first we, uh, at the second point or second information we need is um, we want to override the return address with the address of the win function. So we need the address of the return. How do we do it? We can print out um, the base pointer. The base pointer. So we see uh, two values here. Uh, let me think. The first value is the EBP, uh, the saved EBP, and the second value is the um, saved. Or, or is the is the address of the return function? So we can we have this now. Now we have to find this address on the stack to verify how big our padding should be because we uh, the padding of 64 is not enough as they tell you here too EIP is not directly after the end of the buffer so compiler padding and so on may increase the size so what we do now is we print out some addresses of the stack e -I -P -E -S -P, the stack and we're going to look for um, this address. There we see our padding, 41s, until this point. Then we have some other sh stuff, and there is the address of our return. So let's check it. Um, so the offset, we are, uh, the padding starts here. Um, Padding starts there and ends right there. And then we need the offset to this location. And this location is uh, 0, 4, 8, 12. So it's, so it's this here, but not with the zero with a C. Then we can calculate the difference. Use a calculator for this. So this is um, B F F F F seven three C minus B F F F F six F zero. This is four C and four C is sixty seven uh, seventy six. So what we need, we need uh, a padding of 67, uh, 76 to get uh, the address of the win function right here. So let's try it out. Um, so we have the padding and the padding is not um, 64, it is 76. Afterwards we have um, the win function which is um, f4 um, a3 0 4 and 0 8 remember here that we are on a uh, on little endian so, and then we will print out the padding plus the win. Let's try it. So, let's run it with TMP text 4. Yes, we will want to restart. So, let's see the base pointer again. 
So now our um, save base pointer is this and our return function is this and the return function is actually the, win, the function of the win. So we will not return and exit the program, we will return to the win function. Uh, you can see it on the stack again, or R2. Um, stack pointer, so this there it is. There is our padding until this point, and there is the function. So now, try it within the, the program or outside of GDB, so Python TMP exploit for py pipe it into stack 4 and we have successfully changed the code flow.